In this tutorial in Microsoft Word, we're going to look together at how to track changes in a collaborative document. Let's assume that you and others are working together on a document. Each of you have the rights to delete a sentence, move a paragraph, change a spelling, add content, but you want to track all the changes so at the end each one is accepted or rejected as you work toward your final project. So let's look at how to do that in Microsoft Word. I have a document on the screen that I'd like to do that to. To get to the Track Changes section, I move to the Review menu above my ribbon and click on that. That will get me into one of the panes called Tracking. I'm going to click on Track Changes and turn that on. The box will turn gray. Now when I'm tracking a change, I can have several options. If I look at the top box, I can do a simple markup, all markup, no markup, or original. Or original means I get to see it unedited. Simple markup means that I will see a little red line to the left of every line that has a change. Let's try that. Let's take these first two dummy sentences out of my third paragraph and simply delete them. I should have a little red bar on the left, meaning that this line has changed. That's a simple markup. In, in this case here, let's take the first word of this sentence and retype it. Let's say we want to change this to February. The simple markup tells me again that something has changed. It doesn't show me what was there and what has changed. To see all the details, I go from simple markup to all markup. And here again, all markup gives me more information. It shows me I have deleted these two sentences and what they were. And here it says I've deleted this word by typing over it and inserted February instead. Let's try another change. Let's move down to another paragraph here. Let's take this sentence here. And we'll cut it out with Control X. We'll paste it in here with Control V. And I have basically moved it from one to another. And notice I have a different color because I've done a different kind of tasks. So it shows me where it was and where it is now. If I go back to simple markup, I see I just have red there and it shows me the end. If I don't want to see any of my markup changes, I click on No Markup. It doesn't change the edits I've done. It just masks the fact that there have been changes in the document, although it's still tracking them, whether I see them or not. I'm going to go back to uh, All Markup so we can see some more. If I want to change some formatting, maybe I need to enter a new section here. I'll put Section 3. And we'll go back to our home uh, menu and make this a heading number one. And there's my new section three. Again, it shows that I'm responsible for these changes. And if someone else were to come in later, they would be able to change it. And those changes would be tied to them as well. And here it says the heading has been formatted. So I'll get a note on the right side when I have that clicked. If I turn it back to simple markup, I don't have quite as much information. So you can add sentences, delete them, move paragraphs, anything you want in Microsoft Word, and it will track all the changes. Let's take this whole paragraph, use the mouse and drag it down, put it at the bottom, and now we've changed it. If I go back to All Markup, I'll have a lot more to see here, where it tells me that this has been deleted and it was moved over here. So you can track all the changes. Now when you're done with a document and the collaborate edit, edit, you can move from one to the other. If I go previous, I can accept this change or reject it by clicking on accept or reject. Let's go reject. We don't want to move that paragraph and it will not be that way. I'll reject the next one. Now it says I have a conflict. It's been changed since it was moved. Do I want to keep the original location or the new location? Let's keep original. 
and now we're back to where we were. So I can move through any of these changes. I'll click on the first one here. We'll accept that, and that's changed. We'll go to the next one. We'll accept it. We'll reject the next one, and we can move through our document when we're all done to accept or reject. And so that gives us some options to make the document different. Now, if I don't like the way this turned out here, uh, I'll need to make some other changes. I can do reject and move to next, and now it's back. So we have many options when we're accepting or rejecting changes. It can be formatting changes. It can be actual words that are added, paragraphs added, deleted, edited, whatever you want to do. Now, if you want to turn off the tracking changes. The only way to do that is to accept or reject all changes. But if I like it the way it is right now, I can click on accept and I can do accept all changes and stop tracking. If I do this, I'll turn that on right now, now it will not track anything in the document from this moment forward. I've uh, adjusted the changes. I can send this to someone else and they won't get the tracking uh, items in either margin when that's all finished. But it's a very easy way to modify documents from multiple people and then do something with the final product. Mm -hmm.